but it's not allowed in Europe and the UK. But companies like are trying to change that. In the UK, we had mad cow disease, and because of that, we changed our food production rules so that we produce food hygienically. People died, and that's why we changed our laws. But under TTIP, the EU-US free trade deal, that will all change. TTIP wants to bring in genetically foods, crops that have been sprayed with pesticides and herbicides which will still find their way onto your... These chemicals have been banned in Europe because they can cause cancer, because they can harm childhood development, and because they can cause birth defects. Beef fed with antibiotics so it can grow bigger and grow faster. This is one of the key reasons we have a global health crisis where our antibiotics aren't working anymore. All of this will come through under TTIP. If we let this happen, if we don't stop this happening, we'll be gambling food and our health. Go, 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 go. Food and our health to be better. We don't change for the worst. Why is it that our politicians... Uh, it's about the, uh, the culture that it takes before you can increase it. Guys, it's actually uh, one of the first actions here. If you care about your food, if you care about your health, if you care about what your children eat, and if you care about the environment, then you need to say no to TTIP. The European Commission is telling us that it will protect our food standards. But in 2008, they tried to get chlorine washed chicken allowed in the EU. In 2013, they succeeded in getting beef washed in lactic acid allowed in the EU. And right now, while they're telling us that they can be trusted with our food, they're applying to have acid washed chicken allowed into the EU. Whoa. If you don't want to see this happening to our food, if you don't want to risk your health and the health of your children, then join our campaign and join the one and a half million people around Europe who have signed on to say no to TTIP. Okay, KFC, chlorine wash chicken. Hi guys, welcome. This is, uh, well... Thank uh, you guys for coming through. Thank you for coming through. Hello Ian, yeah, if you could, uh, guys could just, uh, it's just, you know, uh, <laughs> a show about what uh, uh, it would be like if uh, TTIP actually gets uh, actioned in uh, Europe, really in the UK. I remember this, whatever, uh, what they call this, uh, when uh, UKIP and FAR are saying that they are against uh, TTIP, they only against it because the EU and uh, Americans are the ones um, uh, supposedly, um, yeah, organizing it, talking about it. That uh, they're very much, in, they very much like the idea of uh, the Americans um, imposing their uh, rules on on Britain. I'm not enjoying my job. <laughs> Lucky Sunday, right? Teeth! 
T.I.P. Sponsored by KFC. 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 T-T-I-P, Graveyard of Democracy! T-T-I-P, Graveyard of Democracy! Okay, guys, uh, yeah, keep in touch. We will be uh, updating you on the situation. Uh, we should be back soon anyway. Okay, thanks, guys. Okay, okay KFC, one of the sponsors of the TTIP and uh, where you end up with uh, chicken washing chlorine and everything else. I mean,